Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Lone Boys Post 1975, and welcome to the Wednesday vlog. As per last week, not so much a vlog, although there will be quite a large amount of vlogging within it, but more of a kind of overview or a, a well, not so much a system review, but yeah, an overview of a product that I have been sent. Someone else watched uh, my video I did last week. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, check out my last Wednesday um, vlog where I reviewed the X Station and had a look at it. A, a machine built for emulation, clearly ripping off the Xbox One. Sadly, not up to, um, well, not up to anything, to be fair. Uh, I'd like to thank, I can't remember who left the message in the comments saying try it on another HD TV because I had to do it from composite. I tried it on another HD TV and it does actually output pretty nicely in HD, albeit 480. P. Uh, doesn't make the console any better or the emulation better or the game's any funner to play, but um, yeah, it does work. And you know what? I have played it since and I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it for all the wrong reasons, but as you know, if you're watching this video and you watch that video, I love Chinese knock-off tat. Always I have had a, you know, a soft spot for it. But we won't go into that again because you already know that. Now, I was uh, lucky enough to be sent something else uh, for someone, uh, from someone um, from, I, I know on Facebook. Thank you, John. You know who you are. Again, you know, people have to be, remain anonymous. I don't know why. They, you know, they don't have a YouTube channel. That's cool. But you are on Facebook and your name is John and you are my friend. So thank you very much. He said, hey, that was awesome to watch. Um, I saw this knocking about there. Super, super cheap. Would you like, uh, you know, to, to have a pop in it? And as I always say, disclaimer, I never ask for anything. I don't do this YouTube channel for anything, but, you know, I'm not going to say no. Plus, I had so much fun. I know I'm not up there with, like, Benway or Ash or anything like that, but I had so much fun just doing that overview. And I was, as I did as well with that um, um, PXP. Pop, st pop station, PXP station over there. But this is something entirely different. It's more in line with what that X station was trying to emulate, but it's handheld more in line with that. Anyway, let's not beat about the bush anymore. Can't believe I said that. I never say that phrase. This is the PAP K3 Plus. Look at that. I'm wondering if it's the people who made the last one made this because the box art is pretty much the same. And again, Let's promote it, even though it's a Chinese product, with Western people. And please note, they're playing a game on a television with remote control pads, which is obviously entirely unrelated to this. So you got a nice picture on the top of the station there. Oh, by the way, the TV on the back's got the bloke from Prince of Persia. This one's got the bloke from God of War on it, as on the side. So what does it say on the side? Uh, it's the contents. Uh, console. One PC, I'm guessing that means piece. AV cable, one piece. USB cable, one piece. AC adapter, one piece. And user manual. So you can see immediately it's got an AV cable. So much like that station, this, sorry, just for a second, this side is making me laugh, will output to a TV. I hope. Uh, it says 64 bits, because we all like, you know, well, come on, it's not the early 2000s anymore. No one gives a fuck about bits. 64-bit um, OS, support arcade game plus GBA plus SFC slash SNES plus Sega plus FC slash NES games, uh, ultra large capacity micro SD card expansion, so it's actually an SD, or called an SD, not TF, which is what they always seem to be on everything else. Uh, HD, DV, um, so digital video camera, digital recording, I find that highly unlikely, but you never know. Um, HD video, vi vide, oh. Can you, can you see that? You probably can't. Yeah, fail. Even by, you know, English standards, that's a fail. Um, yeah. Picture Browse eBook supports 26 kinds of languages. Does it, shouldn't that just be 26 languages? Um, then you've got your three colours, white, black or blue. None of them are ticked, so I have no idea what's in the box. Uh, oh, and you've got these icons. They're on the front and, you know, with the kids. But basically, you've got... Oh, I can show you as I read across them. Right, so you got a joystick, music, so obviously games, music, uh, movies, take pictures, microphone, camera, another microphone, I guess. I'm not, oh, book reader, and I don't even know what that last one is. 
swirly buttons. Anyway, let's see what's in the box. Oh, there's a car on the top of that one. I'm not sure what game that's from. <clears throat> box is really nice, by the way. It's sort of the same kind of standard as the, uh, the X station. Right, so it's got your standard insert where something's supposed to go on top. I don't know what's supposed to go on top. That's where it is. Open it up. Right, so can you see that? Not not the greatest sort of protection of the contents of the packet, but it is bubble wrap, so that's obviously the system. Uh, we've got um, a US or Canadian or an ultra, uh, ultra American, <laughs> North American wall plug, is it? No, it's like a razor plug, isn't it? Never mind. Oh, um, USB to add to the collection of many, many, many USBs I have. It's a standard, normal size USB. Uh, your composite lead. Oh, cool little thing like you used to get with Apple phones. USB, but UK charger. I quite like that. And a whopping great man. Oh, it's bigger than the last one. There we go. The PAP K3 Plus. Now, I'm assuming because I did have a look online, there were variants of this machine, and this is one of the latest ones, or oh, supposedly one of the latest ones, but then it's still a few years old. And I do know from the comments on my um, uh, Facebook picture of it that apparently, because the X operating system exists within a micro SD card inside the machine and borrows elements um, from the operating system on the Dingo, you know, the Dingo A500, which I, I have in it. I, should I just stick with that? In fact, people, I can stop these videos right now. You want something brilliant, handheld for emulating, get a Dingo A500 and put Linux on. But if it's got things in comparison with it, I'm wondering if you could put Linux on this. If you can't, don't spoil it. So, uh, attention to security matters. I can't read that. Um, basically, uh, the machine mainly function. So, well, it, it's a half working machine. Um, accessories package. Media, console keys, and function layouts. Then it's got your function layout of the console. Honestly, I haven't got that bad eyesight, and I am just struggling. But it seems to give you a brief run through of all the options, all the modes, and stuff like that, um, in such a way that ultimately, even before you get to the English, it's useless. Right, so let's have a look at the console. Off comes the shrink wrap. It's in a bag, unlike the other one, it's not in like a carry bag. <clears throat> and first of all, it's got some weight to it, and it looks really, really nice. I think that looks alright. It's got, it's that, yeah, it's got a battery pack on the back, so you got what your uh, lithium or oh, lion lithium iron. I don't know, you know, chargeable battery, and it's gone the route of you know the. Uh, the original PSP, which they, all these knockoff handhelds seem to, which is that. I'm not sure why they need, you know, to do that route because I think a little bit of their own sort of, it's got nice textured grips actually there, a little bit of sort of their own identity would actually probably help sell the products a bit more. There is a screen protector on it, which I'm going to leave on for purposes of this video. Right, on the top, you've got your uh, micro SD card there. You might need like to see that. Headphone, which obviously I'm assuming doubles as, um, the composite outs, USB, and that's got to be an on switch and an LED. You got D pad, which actually feels all right. That's interesting. You've got an analog uh, analog joystick. Whether it is, it fills it, but whether it is remains to be seen. And until I try a game, I can't really tell you. And then you've got four buttons there. Again, the buttons actually feel are actually independent. They're not linked, and they actually feel pretty pretty good you got two shoulder buttons as well nice and clicky oh and there is there is a camera there um, but I'm not holding my breath on that so you got volume up volume down above my fingers and then above those fingers you've got select and start right so let's get into it I'm hoping it's got charge all right so the LED saying on which makes sense now because it says power and charge, power and charge, and it's charge that's actually lit up next to the analog stick. Now, is that doing it justice? The screen, oh, it's quite loud as well. Oh, that might be the default volume. The screen is actually quite nice. Now, if you go to the bottom, you've got these options. Right, let's go to the bottom. So the first one, joystick, so, 
music. Now, I did actually check on a video, and the music, uh, the video quality on this is actually really, really, really good, but it comes with three Chinese pop songs on there, so I'm not going to play any of them. You just have to take my word for it, or look it up on YouTube. But the, the video quality is actually really, really good. Now, picture viewer, I can show you picture viewer. Pre-installed pictures. Yeah, it had to be, didn't it, if it's a knockoff. Always put a pretty bird on there. How do you... Ah, you got, got into a different menu. So, obviously, filming this isn't going to do it justice, but, yeah. So, come back. B is back. A is go forward. We like that. B comes back again. Uh, you got your... There's nothing in there. You've got your, uh, your book reader. You folded a browser, which will obviously relate to the, um, the card, which I'm guessing, once again, the card is... You know, you can only put games on it that will be, you know, relatable to the emulations, the machines emulated on this. Maybe you have to put them in folders. I can't tell you that right now because I don't know. And then you've got your language settings, brightness settings and all stuff like that. Right, so let's just put a game on. It seems to have, if I keep going through it, you have a few games at the top that, like, I don't know, it just puts, the, is this like a quick interface? Can you change this? It's just like a sort of recommendation. Odd. Right, let's go into one of these games. Let's have a look at Super Sidekicks. So that would be Neo Geo. Which would be the emulator I'm guessing won't emulate properly. If any of them don't emulate properly, I don't know. I'm looking at the screen, I know, not the, uh, the camera. Super Sidekicks! See, that screen looks really nice. In fact, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop here and show you the screen close up, but it will be... Oh, that was a whistly effect. We didn't like that. It will be, obviously, filmed by my phone, so it probably won't look very good. There we go. Right, so look, the screen quality is really, really, really nice. Let's put some money in. Right, let's start. You, oh, Sorry about the light. You might get, like, some focus issues. Right, we'll go with Brian. I don't know what I'm selecting. Focus, you fucker. Skip, 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 skip to the end. Well, I'm just going to stand and get beaten up because if I start flailing around, it's, it, the camera's just going to go mental. But yeah, I really generally am quite suppre suppressed, impressed with the screen. So what you do is, do you uh, press start and pause together to bring up a menu, uh, kind of like the X station from last week, and then you can exit the game. So, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to show you the emulator on it and play one of each of the games, and we'll hook it up to the TV and see what it looks like. But overall, the console right now, the hand, uh, the, the hand unit, I'm actually quite impressed with it. It's actually really, really, really nice. Although, one more thing, I am curious. Let's get the elephant out of the room, out of the way. Camera, camera quality. I can tell you now, it's god awful, and it's only barely registering colour, and it seems to be partially zoomed in. There you go. Have a look at that. There you go. Really badly zoomed in. Does that? But that's terrible. I wouldn't even advertise that as a feature. And there is no zoom function. So there is a mode. Photograph, camera, you can actually shoot video. Yeah, don't think we'll be going that. Let's have a look at some of the games on the TV. Now, this is interesting because this is on my TV screen. Uh, so bear in mind the, the capture quality is not the best. And that kind of flickering, I don't know if you can see it at the top. That's not uh, to do with the machine, I believe. Um, that will be to do with the lead. But I'm in the settings right now, and you actually have to go in and change whether it's power or NTSC. But that's not really a problem with, um, you know, there you go with most modern HD TVs, uh, it is running on a CRT, obviously. But I went in there because when I first plugged it in, I couldn't get it to appear on the screen. But it turns out, the lead, hence the flickering at the top, and it's very sensitive, is absolutely terrible. But this is what I meant earlier on, which you've got a certain number of games, um, all with, like, slightly incorrect names, at the top of the screen. Really not sure of the relevance of that, but we'll show you the icons now, you can probably see them. Uh, game, music, Video, camera, microphone, 
uh, picture, ebook, folder, settings. So we want to go A's forward, B's back. We want to go into game. He says. Oh, that's awkward. It seems a bit hit and miss. Right, CPS, Neo Geo, Game Boy Advance, uh, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Famicom, Game Boy, Color. Uh, Sega Master System, Game Gear, Game Boy. Ooh, there's more than I thought there was. Interesting. Let's go into... We'll do one from each one, or maybe two from each one. Go over there. Super Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 5, blah, 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 Aiden vs. Predator, Street Fighter 2, Alpha, Super Gem Fighter, Armored Warriors. So you can see, there's quite a few games in here. We'll go up this way and then just go straight to the back and then you can see how many games there are. So there's 27. Uh, let's go with Strider. 27 games in Capcom. Work ramp, so it's the wrong be be blur. booting up. Obviously now I've got select and start, so I'm going to have to put money in. I'm presuming I do that with select. There we go. Right. I can turn it up still because it's really quiet on the actual unit. Right. Are you full screen? Full screen? Full speed. Right. I have to say right off the bat, immediately the pain that was the X station is uh, dissipating because this appears to be running full speed and it looks lovely and the control, the pad controls really, really nice. Holy shit. This might be a pleasant experience after all. Let's quit. Let's try um, Super Street Fighter 2. No, let's go with Street Fighter Alpha 3. Let's keep it consistent. Right, so everyone boots up. Speech, nice. First audio, cure sound. I never knew what the deal was with QSound. I mean, it's theirs, isn't it? They patented it. Money, money, money. It would appear you have to turn the volume up on the, each game once you boot it on the actual unit. No biggie. I can live with that. Start. I didn't actually put any money in. Right. Does it really matter who I'm going to play with, Dave? Fuck it. We're only going to do a little bit. Go with Ryu. <clears throat> I think Alpha 2 is probably still my favourite. That's irrelevant to this system test. Obviously, you can't do two player, unlike the X Station. But hopefully, unlike the X Station, this is playable. So it's not full screen. Did that with the analog stick. Is it dropping frames? Probably. But hey, it's hell of a lot more playable than. That's interesting. The shoulder buttons don't work. Oh no, that, no, no. Hell of a lot more playable uh, and presentable than it was in the X station. I would say this is actually pretty good. Really good. Right. Yeah, fuck you, mate. You didn't beat me. Quit. Right, let's go into... See, I would have thought if it can handle that, then it pretty much it can handle most CPS 1 or 2 games. This is the one that's a test, isn't it? Neo Geo. Metal Slug, King of Fighters, 94 Double Dragon, Neo Thrash, Super Sidekicks. I don't know. Battle Fury. Now, I'm only going to do a few from each one to that. The, the mine on every system, there's bound to be some that don't play or stinkers or whatever. Some that don't even boot, I guess. Money, money, money. Oh, I forgot. Oh, my God. You think you remember all of the Neo Geo games looking amazing? No, they refined them, didn't they? Again. You've got to uh, turn the volume up. Mm. Oh, yeah, and I can live with that. I don't remember how fast Fatal Fury was in the arcade, so whether this is accurate, but it feels perfectly playable. It really does. 
Oh, he says getting getting slapped. I'm wondering maybe there's lag between the system and the screen, but yeah, that looks that looks all right. I'm not saying it's perfect, but unlike the last one where I just saying yeah, it's playable. No, that's that's pretty good. Right, let's just pick something at random. Up fighting Captain Tomaday, Eight Man Football Frenzy. I don't know what any of the games are. Joy, joy, Cars Revenge. I know what you are. I've never played you. I just remember you were in CVG and Me Machines like saying, look at what this machine can do. Sound seems a bit... Hmm. Like its voice is breaking. I love it when they do that. I wonder if there's spies on it. Whatever it is. It does fall a bit funny. All of them feel a bit funny when it scrolls. But, I don't know. It seems... I don't know. It's, it does seem like it's done a reasonable job. Right. Again, like I said, this is just quick, quick, quick gameplays. What the fuck was that me then? Oh, bollocks. Right. Let's go on to... We'll just do one of each from now on. I don't like the way it brings you all the way out. Game Boy Advance. Right, I know what I'm going to test. Mario Kart. I think it's safe to say if you can do Mario Kart. Your sexy biscuits. Right, skip, skip. Oh, bollocks. I just pick a character. Obviously, this ain't going to look great on a TV. Because it's supposed to be on a small screen. Probably should have tried this on the small screen as well. I might do a revisit to this after I were trying to see if I can get Linux or Dingo on it. I think that looks alright. Again, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's certainly more than what I can say last time, which is, oh, it's playable. Sounds right too. I think that looks alright. Like I said, I'm not going to say it's 100%, but uh, yeah, quite impressed. Right, skip, skip, skip to the end. Bit of a bitch, but a uh, pointless moan there. It doesn't really, you know, it's not something to complain about, is it? The fact that I have to go all the way back there. Super Mario Stars, All oh, Stars, start menu, I meant. Um, on Super Nintendo. Now, I don't remember Super Mario World being in this pack. Was it in this pack? Oh, this is probably... Well, no, this is a Super Famicom version. Oh, is it? Was that? Hmm. I guess it's not new. Kind of picking some of these games because it coincides with uh, what I was obviously doing or playing on the X Station. Fuck, oi! Bollocks. That's really nice. Yeah, that flickers at the top. I said, I, I'm daring not to move because I'm pretty sure that is the lead because, like I said, I thought I had to change something in the settings, but no, it was just good old-fashioned lead. Yeah, I saw you that time. Again, it's not 100%, but some of the things I heard about this thing was absolutely appalling and you shouldn't even waste your money on it. Seem unfounded. Okay. Oh fuck. You got save states in this menu as well, which is kinda cool. Right, B. Yeah again, why do you keep doing that? Mega Drive. I think we gotta go for Sonic, haven't we? If he's even in here. Well, we'll go with Castle of Illusion. Hmm. You must be in here, surely Sonic's in here. Skip, skip, skip to the end. Once upon a mouse. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember when I first had this import back in the day, and my mates all played it, and they suddenly realised that everything they were playing on was shit compared to my Mega Drive. The screen seems ever so slightly cut off at the bottom. I wonder if that's because I'm in PAL. Oh, Disney games, with the exception of Fantasia. You were so good back in the day. 
Lovely. Obviously, the output to the TV is not the best. But, you know, it looks like a Mega Drive and all its sexy goodness. And certainly no pop like uh, the X Station. Cool. Quite impressed with that. Like I said, uh, for the purposes of the video not being too long, I'm just going to do one from each. Right, Mega Drive, Famicom, Mario Brothers 2, otherwise known as the Mario that was given to the West because they figured they were all too pussy by to play the last levels or whatever it was. Well, that'll be fair. I don't hate this game. It's just not a Mario game, is it? Some ghosting on the screen, but I think that's probably to do with uh, the lead. So that's obviously a HUD screen then. Been a while since I've played this. Yep, turnips, people, they're lethal. Works for me. Definitely. Oh, forgot to jump. Definitely, yeah. Uh, on the money. Uh, Famicom Game Boy Color. Yeah, do we really need to do a Game Boy Color? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go with Super Mario Deluxe. Oh, so is this? So when it says Deluxe, does it just mean it's giving you a map? There's, uh, I don't know if that's a Game Boy thing or an emulation thing, but sometimes when there's blocks on the screen, there's ghosting of the characters and tearing at the edge of the right-hand side of the screen. But, meh. Nothing that's going to ruin your day. Right, let's try Master System. Right, so Master System. Just checking how many more there were. Alex Kid in Shinobi World. Why not? Never played this. That music's epic. I don't know if it's running at the right speed. It must be, because the character seems alright. I mean, you would hope it would be able to do this in, like, NES. Oh, you can't land on them. Well, what a shit ninja, but, yeah, it seems to be doing a job. Quit. It's quitting time. Game Gear. Oh, not many games on there, is there? Uh, ninja Gaiden. Gaiden, Gaiden, Potato, Potato. I didn't know Ninja Gaiden was on the Game Gear. I never had a Game Gear in my defence, so, you know, throwing my bone. Icefield, stage one, start one. Oh, no, it's not. It's a Penguin game. Did I pick the wrong game or something? Probably. Don't blame that on the system. Blame that on me. What are you supposed to do? Ah. Oh, fuck nuggets. Right. Did I pick that? I don't know. Let's try another one. No. Oh. Ninku Gaiden. My bad. Well, that seems a piss poor selection of games. Oh, well, I can live. Right, almost there, kids. Sorry, it's been mega boring, but I'm just determined to go for a more. Game Gear. Game Boy. This would be interesting. Got some bow. Sweet. That actually, I didn't think this game was that going to be this good graphics. You know, based on the original Game Boy, but it actually looks pretty good on the screen. Again. got some of that screen tear bleed on the right hand side but yeah definitely playable I mean you would hope that Game Boy game was playable anyway back to real life Dave
So in conclusion, the PAP K3 Plus, remember get the plus apparently, uh, you know, because anything other than the plus isn't a reflection of what I've just shown you. But do I think it's a viable emulation thing? I do, actually, I really do. Bear in mind there are better ways to emulate stuff. Um, this wasn't obviously as well, take with a grain of sand, that this wasn't, you know, a full review or anything like that. I don't know any of the hardware as such that's in the unit. It was just me doing an unboxing and taking you along for the ride. So there are bound to be parts, games, things in here that um, probably don't run at all don't even boot up but I couldn't go through every single thing for obvious reasons and show you but from what I've tried I'm really really moderately impressed I don't think they run a hundred percent but unlike the X station they certainly are way more than playable on that actually I was pretty pretty impressed the screen itself is really really nice the camera is absolutely pants I couldn't show you but playing a movie on this which obviously you can put on you know supports Windows files as well you can put on the card that yeah that was really 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 impressive um this is out of the box, not charged, so I'm guessing the battery life is impressive, and I haven't tested the, uh, you know, the card reader and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm generally very, very impressed. This is a. Uh this is Chinese tat, but this is Chinese tat done well. So, would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it, and I am definitely going to use this, you know, a lot. And maybe I'll do an update video on what it's like with movies and stuff. Like, gotta stop looking down as I press the buttons. It's just therapeutic. Yeah, we'll do an update. They did it again. When I've checked out, you know, like maybe watching a couple of movies, you know, at work, at lunch and stuff like that, listening to some music, things like that, and played a few more of the games and maybe put in, you know, Dingo or Linux on it. But yeah, really, really impressed with this. Really, really impressed. Oh, by the way, when you turn it off, a picture of Street Fighter 4 appears on the screen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.